Local teacher says she's lucky to be alive tonight. Back in August, Cindy Hyatt collapsed in her classroom after suffering a cardiac arrest. She's back on her feet and she saw her colleagues and students for the first time in months. CBS 4's Hannah Fullman has our story tonight. Oh my God. Oh, this is so nice. This is oh the moment God. Cindy Hyatt saw her classroom for the first time since collapsing there on the first day of school after suffering a cardiac arrest. I was unconscious and I don't know any more than that. That's when Principal Scott Scheimer heard that a teacher was down and rushed into action. Miss Hyatt was face down at that point. We rolled her over. Um, and determined that she didn't have a pulse, so I started compressions. It soon became a team effort with several staff members stepping in to help. Mr. Scheimer was doing chest compressions and it uh, looked like uh, Dangenet had uh, was checking for a pulse. So I came in, um, got the AED pads on her. Well, all stood up, stand back, stood back, and then that machine delivered the shock. Um, and then Mr. Scheimer went back in to deliver those chest compressions. Within minutes, they helped bring back a pulse until medics arrived. The doctor said that the uh, immediate CPR and the use of the AED was the major factor in, in helping to keep her alive till they could give her the life-saving procedure that she needed. Hi! Miss Hyatt woke up six days later in the hospital where she would stay for the next several months. When she had recovered from the breathing aspect, we had noted that her heart was very weak and was unable to uh, effectively get blood to her other organs. I was just thankful to the team. Hyatt has struggled with heart problems her entire life, but nothing to this extent. That's when her cardiologist suggested she needed a heart transplant. Oh my goodness. And due to how sick she was, she was near the top of the list. It looks like somebody was probably looking down on her because we were able to get a, a perfect match uh, for her. And she underwent the, the heart transplant and did exceedingly well. And almost two months to the day is when Miss Hyatt heard her new heartbeat for the very first time. Just truly blessed. <laughs> it's just all by the grace of God that I'm here and I love it. I love this new life. This is my school. Now a few months later, she's back up walking, talking, and enjoying life once again. I feel great. I do. I never felt better. Ms. Hyatt is still on her recovery journey, but is planning to come back and teach at Anderson High School this fall. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. In Anderson, Hannah Fullman, CBS 4 News. And we wish her the best in her recovery. Law